find yeah. him. <laughs> I still can't find him. There yeah, he is. He has got the token. Um, he's also he's also got a haste um, rune bottled up. So I mean, he's just gonna keep, and keep increasing his farm. He's got almost two two k of gold saved up. So he'll probably be getting that blessed orb sent out to him um, pretty shortly. But at the moment, yeah, I I don't think that uh, the, I don't think Frey really have um. Yeah, you know, you saw last game Frey do exactly what Endzone usually do, take control of the early game and really dominate, and in this game Endzone are pretty much doing that, you know, they're just they're dropping towers left, right and centre, um, they're really not giving anywhere, um, they're not really giving any space for Frey to breathe, so, uh, you don't, you know, I'm not really liking what's, whether Frey are going to be in trouble, uh, I'm not really sure um, how well Frey are going to be able to do. Uh, we do have Corrupted, he's picked up a Warhammer, so he's getting close to that uh, shrunken head. He is sitting at 400 gold, so um, he's a little bit away from that. But I mean, uh, while Slix was farming in bot, I mean, that, that again I was going to say, Slix was farming in bot for at least 5-10 uh, minutes, and in that time he really, he, uh, like looking at his items, he didn't pick up anything, and then that gank came from Hammerstone, which I have to say was a really good play there, blocking him uh, with the illusion in which they're getting that stun off. He hasn't really got that much farm, and they lost 2 or 3, I think it was 3 towers in that during that time. Um, which really increased the gold lead. I mean, the gold lead is sitting at 11,000 gold, increasing. Um, as I do say, that Slix does pick up his shrunken head, so uh, it does finish that off. Now, but you got to wonder how much this is going to help with with how far ahead, you know, Soul Stealer, for example, is. I mean, Soul Stealer, um, he has got Hackens. He has actually got Hack and Slash. He hasn't gotten the uh, the Geo's ban Geo Geometer's ban that you were saying. Um, Interesting. Saying Interesting. So he's got something different. Um, I, I, to me, I, I would say. I would say he will probably uh, split that up to a Frostwolf and Geos, I'm sure. But uh, for now, he has got the Hack and Slash, and it looks like, as I say, as again, Frey are going to start uh, having... They, they will have to defend this bottom tower. I mean, if they do... Uh, if they don't defend it, then Endzone are going to have complete control of the map. You know, that Endzone have... Endzone actually have all six towers up at the moment, and if they take this one, if Endzone take this one, then Endzone has complete room to move, and at the moment it doesn't look like... Uh, it doesn't even look like Frey might not even set up for a kill. We haven't in his Hammerstorm. He has actually got a portal kill. I'm not sure if that was said before. So it'd be interesting to see what he does. But we do have Hellbringer Magnus Andromeda sitting back here, and it does look like the portal key from which they actually and dropping Hellbringer instantly. So we're not going to see a Hellbringer ultimate uh, Hammerstorm possibly getting locked down. A nice triple ulti there, just blocking the creeps in. He has got stuff the master picked up, so it's going to be nice and slow. It looks like Frey are going to have to back up after losing. Uh, White Salvo and Bobo as Flint has to pop his shrunken head, corrupted, uh, which is trying to get a nice stun off. Hammerstorm getting locked down, does go down to Slicks. Corrupted Disciple getting taken out by Roger Dodger. The Myrmidon is going to get money shotted. He will live that health pot, does save his life. And uh, Class, uh, the Hellborn, will take that tower. Uh, and even Class not going down. So it was 3 to 1. 3 to 1 uh, kills there going towards the end zone. So they're increasing their lead again. I don't really see much chance of Frey winning this one. Well, I was going to say, if uh, anything was going to bring Frey back into this match and give him control of the match again, it would be completing two well-timed Shrunken Heads, and we did see Slicks pick up his Shrunken Head as well as, I'm not sure if uh, Corrupt did get his out. No, he didn't quite manage to finish in time. However, in the end, um, the Shrunken Head not proving to be that effective because, you know, Endzone, they picked up two incredibly well-timed Porky. They've got Porky on Witchler, they had a Porky on a Hamstorm, and this is like, basically, the, the Alpha Strike and Hon is hugely important key, and, you know, Blinks, nobody is better better alpha striking than just getting that initiation off than blinkers and you get two port keys off on great disablers and stunners like hammerstorm and witch Slayer. you can completely and utterly shut down an enemy team we saw just that happen you know they blinked in and they completely destroyed uh destroyed hellbringer before he could do a damn thing and just took him apart and you know immediately then the fight is you know the fight is um 4v5 even if they decide not to commit and just decide to back off you know They've got a 4v5 situation. It's not like they use ultimates to do it either. Like, you know, they've got Witch Slayer's ult down, but that's about it, which is, you know, used to take some out. But they're still, you know, they back off for 10 seconds, come back with the stunners back off, and, you know, take another shot. It's not like they've wasted a huge, like, massive AOE ult, like Soul Stealers or something, to do this job. So definitely, just getting those port keys is, like, been a massive, massive thing for uh, Endzone, as well as um, Chipperl picking up a uh, Staff of the Master. Now, you put a Staff of the Master on Chipper, his ult is completely devastating. He can completely shut down enemy teams. Especially if you like, because it's slow, it goes through. It goes through a magic community, so you can just like, even if you've got some like uh, Flint Beastwood, you know, with his shrunken head and he's trying to kite the enemy team, just doing a little bit of kiting, just spitting out all that damage from the auto attacks, you can just throw that down on him and shut him down and stop him from moving too fast and just give your team time to either back off or surround him and lock him down. 
So definitely that stuff of the master, um, that stuff of the master by my Roger Dodger is definitely also a great thing for end zone as well. Which we see Bobo's career taking a bit of damage there from the creek now, just uh, backing off as I'm just getting a bit of a network lag here. The uh, so again a little bit spiky class also. They just paused earlier for class just to finish up um, because he was lagging, as well as Dirge should be disconnecting during the middle of that um. During the middle of that pause and coming back now, but uh, just looking at GPMs mm. at the moment. I'm playing one in the server. Hmm. Soul Stealer is up to. Ooh, he's on nearly. He's just hit 500 gold per minute, so he is getting close to unstoppable. He is looking really dangerous at this point, and he still has a token. He still has two minutes 45 on that token left. While Slinks is uh, only just over 300, and Corrupted Disciple is on 232, so he has uh, not really been in carry territory as far as time goes at any stage of the game. It's been getting just ganked and shut down by uh, Triple way too much. Sitting on 1 to 5, so that's uh, definitely not a healthy look. And we do get some pings up here in the jungle. I'm not sure what they're pinging for. Must be uh, something spotted, but class still does have that haste ring followed up. Hellbringer has managed to buy a puzzle box here. It is only level 1 though, so probably not going to be enough to turn any fight around anytime soon. And uh, we see Dirge just doing a bit of counter warning, just trying to take control of the jungle, just trying to get control of the jungle back to them. Which is uh, definitely something that Slicks needs to farm with and uh, to get back up to speed. But Corrupt Disciple still hasn't managed to finish that, uh, finish that strong head yet. He is uh, sitting on 900 gold, so he needs another 400 gold before he can finish that off. But just looking at levels here, they are 10,000 experience behind, which is not a healthy place to be. Definitely looking like they're in a bit of trouble, and definitely these poor keys are going to cause all sorts of hell for them. As it looks like the Legion team are going to have another push mounted against them. Enzo are getting ready for another push. Class has yeah, used his haste rune and has bottled an end his rune. So you might see a good ult from him if you can just uh, line that up nicely. But it does indeed look like we are going to see a mid push here. Although they have been no, that is just a counter ward, so they haven't been spotted up here. They don't really the hellborn team versus so the Legion team doesn't have a whole lot of sight outside their base, which is if we go to defense, you really do want some close base sight to us stop any pushes because these guys are getting quite eager. Enzo are getting quite eager to cause some damage on this uh, barracks here. And just trying to get early racks, but we see Chipple using the focus buffer. Hex coming out on Flint Beastwood. Good swap from Andromeda, saving Flint Beastwood's life. Souls to the ulting. He is going to have to use that token coming back up, and then we do see the shrunken head pop by Corrupt Disciple has managed to finish off. Hammerstorm taking a bit of damage from the Puzzle Box minion and Malthus could go down here if he's not careful. Soul Stealer having to back off on low HP again, accidentally killing himself. Hammerstorm making a yeah, massive mistake, already. throwing out the Hammerstorm stun, getting greedy, trying to kill Malthus and then hitting the uh, Puzzle Box minion and killing himself with it. So definitely a mistake there from Shikari, not sure what, you know, maybe he just lost sight of the uh, Puzzle Box minion there for a second or maybe he tried to do it on purpose, I'm not honestly quite sure. There, but definitely, this is something you have to watch out for puzzle box minions. If you kill the mauler, the little purple one, the melee one, it will explode and do a nasty amount of true damage to you. I think at level one, it's only 400 or 200, it's not a whole lot, but um, it is definitely enough to finish up a low HP hammer storm like that. We do see that uh, that push repulsed, in fact, and uh, ward there for cancel up in the enemy base, just trying to spot it up. But we do see that push repulsed and the token used up, so um. Definitely the shrunken heads, just the shrunken heads and the uh, swap there from Andromeda helping just really bringing that fight back for them. As we're about to see Magma stun moment on here, he just gets does get stunned, but he is going to be able to waveform away. Yeah, there we go. He's just he's going to waveform away quite easily. Uh, but I'm just going to throw over to Razor. Razor, you got your two cents. You want to chuck it in here somewhere? Yeah, it was a good defense. I mean, they, really, it was Enzone had to push. They had like a minute thirty up. I think it was a minute left on that token when uh, Class decided to start attacking. And it was really good. And uh, as I missed that, Hammerstorm did look, does look like it takes out Andromeda with the assistance of uh, Witch Slayer. Uh, so nicely done there. But um, yeah, as I was going to say before, Endzone really do have good control. And it's going to, I think what they're going to have to do is really turtle. You know, at the moment, you only really see Soul Steel is the carry for Endzone, whereas you've got Crop the Disciple and, uh, and Flint on the other team. So if they can, um, if they can, uh, what's the word? Turtle long enough, they might be able to do something. As we do see Flint picking up a firebrand now, and it looks like Hammerstone and Chipper have entered the jungle, so they might be trying to see if they can catch out this Flint Beastwood. Who he does look like he has seen it. The portal key from Hammerstone does come out, and Flint does pop his shrunken head. The uh, Magnus is here, it does look like he will stay. He does get a nice stun off on both of them. Chipper missing both his rockets, uh, but it looks like Ch Hammerstone might die. He does die to the money shot, so good turnaround there for Frey. Managing to turn that around and taking out Hammerstorm there, so really good pick off there, and Slick's getting the kill as well. 
Um, but I mean, as well, Solstella has picked up her a dancing blade, so working towards that window now. Uh, Chipper has got a blessed orb, so probably working towards that sheep stick. And Myrmidon has got a mighty blade, so probably going to see him picking up a shrunken head just to deal with that. Flint always money shotting him, the poor fella always getting shot in the back of the head as he's trying to run away. But yeah, I mean, it's going to take a lot of work for Frey. I'm not going to count them out of it at the moment, but I mean, Ensign really has good control and class is doing a really good work of uh, carrying for his team. Indeed. And if we can see Andromeda do some more sort of like, we saw in that team fight in the mid when they were pushing, uh, the Hellborn were pushing the racks. We did see um, the Hellborn team commit a whole bunch of uh, disabling damage on, onto uh, Flint, just trying to take him out. And then we saw Andromeda just swap him just out of danger, just completely nullify that and put him at the back of the fight and allow him to just get stuck back in with money shot and his sissy's auto attacks. That was definitely a great play by Andromeda, just trying to turn that fight around defensively. So Dirt Snippy on the ball there. And it looks like we're just doing a little bit of team creeping here, just on the Ancients, taking out that triple stack here. At the same time, the Hellborn also taking out their own ancients. But now, it looks like both teams are back in a farm mode. I think Class is uh, still working on that dance on that wing bow, by the looks of it. As well as Hammerstorm is hacking away in the jungle. They're just trying to get a bit more farm up. Not doing a whole lot of damage at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see where the next clash comes. Witch Slayer has uh, picked up a mana troop, I guess, just to try and help out with his mana region. I don't think he's trying to build that into anything just yet. He has picked up Mighty Blade, as I said. Not sure what he's going to go for it with it, but uh, I don't think he's using that mana troop for anything at the moment. Just uh, trying to help out with the mana region problems, as he hasn't uh, hasn't has decided to put no levels in uh, in Power Drain, so he's not able to restock on Creep or uh, Neutrals or anything. So he does need some sort of help there with that mana region. Just looking at Chipper, he has picked up that Blessed Orb, like you mentioned. Not how much money is Roger sitting on? Roger is sitting on 700 gold, whereas Slick's on a massive 2700 gold. What has he got? He has got a fire rate. Looks like he might be going for Geos if he's saving up that amount of cash. Might buy his Blessed Orb. If he just get a bit more money, he can probably buy the Blessed Orb and uh, the recipe all at once. It is 800 gold now for the Jumbo's Bane recipe, so he needs Insta. Actually, he's uh, got enough now, in fact. And he spent it. He just spent it. So, but it looks like the same way we have Kong being done over here by the uh, Hellborn team. End zone go from the Kong team. They have been spotted up by this water, I'm pretty sure. They should be able to see which side throwing attacks into the Kong pit there. Although maybe if they came from the uh, ancient side, they would have seen that actually. So maybe they don't know what's happening. I don't know. Maybe they haven't realised this is happening. Because uh, if they yeah, did... I don't think they did. I don't think they saw it. Sorry, yeah. man. I was going to say, I don't think they saw it. Solstealer and uh, Hammerstorm just portal keyed in, basically. And that ward on the. I don't think they actually have any wards. Oh, they do have that one from Dirt Snoopy, which probably would have seen that on CR, right? They probably did see it, but. I mean, SS and uh, Hammerstorm did portal key in there um, probably a couple seconds earlier than Nam um, did, so. But yeah, I'm guessing honest, I don't really see it. them stopping it. I, th I think what they really need to do. Yeah, what I think they really need to do is say they need, they need, I think they need they know that they need need to defend in this situation. You know, they're they're behind in levels at the moment. They're, they're behind in some farm, and really they don't want to be fighting at Colony. They want to be fighting the base tower, uh, where they have the the advantage. You know, but saying that, you know, it does give uh, class. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure God, tongue tied once again. Class the token. It looks like he might actually finish his window. Um, he's getting something delivered to him. I, I, I think he's getting something yep. delivered to him. And yeah, he does pick up his uh, his wing bow, so he does finish that off. So nicely farm there as Witch Slayer in top. You know, I was actually thinking about what he could do, and I was thinking maybe he could break apart that uh, ring of the teacher and go for a uh, a cyclone stick. It could deal with uh, the flint trying to get the uh, the money shot off. You know, I, I was thinking it could work for that. So he might be working towards a, a cyclone stick or a um, storm steward. I think it's called. Uh, no, I always call it cyclone stick. I don't know why, but it's just what I'm usually call it. But, but yeah, that's what I would I would probably go on as which side. I don't know. What would you go on for which? Um, honestly, it's uh, yeah, not a terrible thing to have. It's uh, definitely definitely a decent buy, and it also helps helps out his team. Like you can set someone up for a chipper stun, uh, for a chipper ult. You just uh, fly someone up, and then chipper can just drop his ult out underneath them and just completely smash them. Uh, but it looks like they are going to try. Uh, Looks like Frey, I'm going to try and take their first tower here, just pushing this mid tower. Flint so is going to finish it off before they can defend it effectively. So Slick's taking the first tower of the match before the Hellbundling. Hammerstorm has hit up a haste though, although no, just running around in circles. Those illusions irritating him apparently. But Soul Stealer has uh, five minutes left on that token, so we might see a push fairly soon. Especially since Class has finished that wing bow, which is good news for him. 
and he has got the strong head up, so it looks like um, they might be ready to get the push up. Magnus uh, still hasn't managed to get that porky. I'm just trying to see what he's sitting on, how much money he's Magnus sitting on. Bobo has all of 500 gold. My Televa has saved up another 1200 gold. Looks like he's uh, trying to get that next level of the puzzle box recipe. He's up to a level 2 puzzle box, so he's quite close to a level 3 puzzle box, which is incredibly nasty to play against if you can micro it effectively. But the uh, Hellborn team here, looks like they're going for a top tower push. Or oh, actually, sorry, top racks push. With our class just stealing the enemy neutrals a little bit more. Again, just some more wards coming out from the Legion team defending mid now, just trying to repulse in that creep wave. And they've just got basically at this point in the game, with uh, they don't have much line of sight up, so without the enemy, without knowing where the enemy tower all that much, they need to stay together fairly, stay fairly tight. So if someone gets jumped on, they can help them out. Because at this stage of the game, when you've got Soul Stealer running around with a token, you do not want to get anybody picked off. If you lose a player and they can't buy back, you are probably going to lose the racks. Magnus stunning Soul Stealer though. You managed to get that stuff. Soul Stealer using the uh, shrunken head, getting knocked out of the ult, trying to ult again. Just get the ult off, but doesn't hit anything. Just hits some magic immune units. Both uh, Flint Beastwood and Corrupt Disciple have hit up their shrunken heads and managed to uh, manage to uh, avoid the damage. Although in the end, they don't really achieve anything. I think Soul, Soul Stealer didn't go ahead. He's still got his... um. Still got his token, so he's ready to go again in about a minute and a half once his ult comes off cooldown. Uh, but Andromeda just running around, doing a little bit more stacking, but I'm just going to throw up to Razor. You had something you wanted to throw in there. I think, uh, I don't know, that this probably was, it wasn't Frey's plan, but Endzone actually came out on top, I would say. Um, Hellbring actually had to use, use his ultimate, so it's going to be down for another two minutes, and it does look like Endzone want to... Um, want to push on this, you know, this looks like they grouped up mid, and I mean, Hellbringer is, a Hellbringer ultimate is a huge initiation, you get rid of that, then uh, Freya in a lot of trouble, and without that, he, he is going to be down for at least another 110 seconds. Yeah, that is a great uh, point. So it does look like uh, Enzone are going to push on this, so I, I, I think, I don't think Freya wanted it, I'm not sure if White, it was a misclick, uh, not a misclick, but White thought that they were going to go on him and used it, but in the end, Enzo did come out on top of that because now they have no. Frey has real, no real initiation, especially with Magnus not having his portal key yet. I think so, they were hoping um, to again, try. Again, is going to sit down there. I think they were hoping to try, try and just pick off. Like, Class was fairly much alone there for a bit, so they were hoping to pick him off and get rid of that token. So I think it was a gamble that they made, just committing that, Sol, uh, that Hellbringer ult just to try and shut him down and just lock him down for another second more so they could kill him, but in the end, didn't pay off. And like you said, they wasted that ult and now they don't have it up, so they're having a really tough time trying to defend this. And you know, class still has that. Yeah, exactly. As we exactly, see it's just not allowed him to sit here and uh, smack on a barracks. But yeah, sorry, go on, you take it. All right, then Weedfield coming out the puzzle box. Mauler trying to get stuck in. Class is tanking all this damage. He's got his token up, so he's ready to just do as much damage as possible. He does not quite go. So he does get taken down by the puzzle box minions, and his teammates are not really that close to him. In fact, I don't think anybody's been taken out yet. But the puzzle box minions have been used. Are they going to go for a second round? They have used a token. I figured they would commit while Class was uh, stuck in there. The puzzle box baller does a backlash on Class here, taking a lot of damage down to half HP. Uh, Soul Stealer now having to back off here. Money shot being used on Soul Stealer, very low HP. Probably going to get chased off here. And we see Corrupt Disciple also use his overload, and it looks like they are going to back off. So that was a little bit of an odd play razor. I know mean, Class got stuck in there using that token, just you know, saying "Come at me, come at me, try and fight me." And I figured his teammates would back him up there, but really didn't see a whole lot of backup come from Razor. Yeah, I, what I think he was trying to do just before he used off his token, it looked like he was trying to um, take out that Mauler so the Mauler would actually take him out, take out the token, but um, he just didn't get that last hit off and it would have been really good because the Mauler does what it looks like he did about 800 damage or so um, upon SS, it would have been around 800 or 600, I'm not too sure. But, um, but if he'd gotten that off while the to he had token, it would have meant that there was no really big nukes apart from Flint's money shot um, that that Frey could use on him and it would have gone on him, but having having killed it after the token and losing all that HP and then the money shot class was just sitting on about 500 health and they backed off, so a bit unfortunate, but I, again, they didn't really um, take advantage of that opportunity there, you know, you haven't got a Hellbringer ultimate to deal with, really you want to just commit, um, commit and try and get it, but I guess they didn't really get the opportunity to uh, with class dropping so low, so it was a bit unfortunate there, um, you know. they're not pulling it off. But as I'm um, looking at... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to quickly point out, uh, Soul Stealer has split that frost, uh, frost Brand. He now only has a Fire Brand in his inventory. In fact, the uh, the uh, Ice Brand is nowhere to be seen. In fact, there it is. It's just come back now. 
So I was wondering if you, I mean, I've done this a couple of times before. I've accidentally sold, like, I've tried to break up my um, Frost Brand to, uh, into the Geo, uh, Geo Frost Wolf combo and then accidentally sold it. I have done that before, so I was hoping like he hadn't accidentally done that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is quite heartbreaking when you do that. However, it looks like he didn't do that by accident; had to rebuild it. He has just uh, split it, put the put the ice brand back in the stash, and just was decided he wanted to bless it all in the in his inventory instead. But yeah, just going back to you, Razor, you were making a point there. I completely lost my train of thought, but yeah, um, but I mean now. now it does look like Enzone will have to just wait and see when they can what they can do, um, whether they get another advantage to push. And yeah, I'm assuming the last or well, one of his last items that Assassin's gonna have to go for will be a uh, Frost Wolf. I mean, he, I guess he can go Frost Wolf. He does have that slot where the TP is um, to use up as well as possibly upgrading his boots. But uh, at the moment, six, uh, not six, sorry, class is just slowly getting maxed out. At the moment, he's got some really good items. He does pick up a haste through now, um, which he's only going to use to farm up the creeps. Uh, but what I, what I would do is, I guess they just the hell one him's just going to wait uh, wait till Kongul's spawn. I mean, it's probably going to be about three or four minutes until it's spawned, uh, and then they're going to just do the same thing again. But it, to me, if Frey want to get into this, I mean, it does look like Slix is trying to farm Fosswolf as well. He has got that ice cream and glowstone there. So, it, but as I was saying, I think if uh, Frey want to get into this, I really think they need to actually have a fight at Kongul. Uh, uh, you know, don't. Looking at, like I said before, how they needed an advantage and had to fight at the tower. If they keep on doing this, getting a token and going in, trying to uh, try and use that token to get a Rax, eventually, uh, eventually, Endzone will break through and will, ho I, I would say, they would break through and get that Rax. So, uh, if they want a chance at getting that Congor, I think they really need to either take him out as soon as it spawns or try and have a fight at Kong, force a fight at Congor, try and, but I mean, what would you do if you were Frey in this situation and you want you want you needed to get back in the game somehow? Would Kongle be your approach? Yeah, definitely. I would. Well, you know, either way, you've got to. You, in the way that the uh, Legion team, Hellborn team, been playing, they are going to need to go Kongle at some point. But Hellbrand getting the sword blades dropped and Magnus trying to start up a good fight for his team there, but in the end, not working out for him. Now getting stunned by a graveyard as well as. Sleeks, although Sleeks getting swapped out, Soul Steel ulting, although Sleeks managed to dodge most of it, and now Sleeks using his shrunken head, Soul Steel's shrunken head is down here, getting stunned by a common Magic up knocking down Andromeda here, though the chip are falling in, the rocket's hitting, the rocket's hitting Sleeks, Sleeks also getting hexed, now getting beat on by Enzo, Enzo really taking this fight home, completely dominating Frey there. Just uh, Magma's trying to catch him out there, but in the end they've got counter initiated on and got shut down completely, and it looks like they are going to be able to push this one, Hammerstorm's ult still up, so they could do a ton of damage. But I was just gonna say, like, even if you didn't want to fight that force that fight at Congo, I mean, either way, you know, you're gonna have a fight force it because the way the Hellborn to play, Enzo, and every time Congo's up, they go and take him, and you obviously can't afford to let them do that in this sort of situation. So either way, you know, as soon as Congo comes up, they're gonna have to get stuck in. But oh, that is unfortunate. Magmus completely screwing up his ult. He didn't shift you. He channeled his ult and then cut it short with the blink. Did not shift you. It just blinked in and then got smashed by Witch Slayer for his troubles. So uh, definitely, definitely a bit of a heartbreaking move there for uh, Bobo. Definitely not, you know, it might be the uh, might be the best bubbles in Australia, but uh, definitely not, not looking so hot on um, Magnus. In fact, wouldn't wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be no jitters. In fact, making Breaky CBK jizz himself with a massive ult, which Kujo of course takes credit for. However, going back to uh, that Congo Congo comment, it looks like the uh, Hellmore team are getting ready to do Kong again. Hammerstorm just, no, Hammerstorm just going back to base, in fact. So maybe they're not, although class is quite close by, so they might try and take him off in a few seconds. Actually, it looks like they are. They are doing a whole bunch of counter warnings, so they're just trying to get rid of line of sight. So make sure that Hellborn team, that's right, the Legion team can't spot them, although they do have that ward up there that should be able to see them. They came in from the left side, so that should have seen them. Yeah, they do know. They are trying to rush in now, although they're not going to be fast enough. Congor is taking a ton of damage. He's down at 33% HP now, and they are not going to get there in time at all. And they're having to back off now, so I'm just getting all unpopular. More friend requests. As I'm just lagging out, so I'm going to throw it to you, Razor. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting any at the moment, so it must be um, Lauren. But yeah, uh, Class does clean up Congor. Uh, he does take that token. Speaking of Class, he has actually changed his boots to post haste now, as I thought he would. He does find a random Andrew Hammerstorm Portal Keen and SS just destro destroying Andromeda in about three or four hits. Um, so it's a big pick off for him right there as they look like they might just push, come into the bottom lane now and uh, start off another push for end zone. So at the moment Frey are in a world of trouble here. Uh, really need to do something or try something to um, 
try and just to try and stay in this game, and as I do actually get a friend request now as well. So, but um, at the moment, yeah, Freight. I mean, Flint, has he finished his uh, Frost Wolf? He hasn't actually finished his Frost Wolf. He's sitting at 700 gold, so I'd say he's still after that um, Blessed Orb and Recipe at the moment. Uh, whereas Class, he's doing his thing again. He's got that token. He's just going to sit on the tower and beat on it. As uh, Witchlayer does get a pick off on, and Slick, Slick's in a really bad position, helping off, but trying to save him, but the rocket's coming out. Rom Chipper do finish him off. So that's a huge pick up from here. And uh, since their carry point is out of it, I think it's only going to take this second Rax. Um, and it does look like they're in class. He's trying to have to dive in, trying to take out this Magnus, but it's not going to happen. The concede vote coming out for uh, for Frey. The ultimate for class coming out, dropping with the, the rocket, the rocket barrage coming out from Roger Dodger, and the uh, concede vote comes through. We are going to a game three. Uh, really well played there as uh, Bobo showing he can actually do that ultimate. Um, show, do, showing he can he can do the shift Q and uh, does pop his ultimate after the concede vote goes through. So. Uh, we'll be back shortly with Game 3 on Razor. Stay tuned.